What is up you guys, welcome back to another day in the vlog. If not, welcome back to the vlog. We're currently in a rented studio right now in Seattle. We're shooting for a very special project that I have coming up in January. I have to shoot it super early just cause naturally like with the holidays and stuff, we're all super busy. If you guys have been following me on Instagram and just kind of staying tuned, you pretty much know what the project is. Like I said, it's coming soon and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And I'm really excited about the pieces, but um, yeah, I wanted to just kind of show you guys the studio that I rented. For any of you guys who live in Seattle, if you are looking for a really nice daylight studio with just really great lighting and equipment and just a really big space to rent for any projects, I think this would be a really great option. I'll leave this peer space listing linked in the description box down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, Kia's here to helping me out. Say hi, dude. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's over there, she's doing something. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of the studio and I'll give you a little sneak peek of what I was shooting today. All right, so Kia is actually gonna give you a little tour of the studio cause I gotta be behind the camera. So yeah, just give them a quick little breakdown. All right, so behind us is this giant white open space um, that we shot the products on, but I'm blocking it so you can see <laughs> the products, but we shot it. It's really nice. Yeah, it's super big. Windows that are super big, letting in all the light. All right, and then here's the other side. Again, super big. It's kind of like a U. Yeah, it's like a U. And so this is more like the lounge area. This is where he put all of his stuff. This is where I put my stuff. Um, you could shoot things here. There's yeah, some, like, you could shoot here. You could shoot back there. Here, we'll walk them back this way. And then ending the tour is the last area of the U shape. So you come nice back. You can, uh, oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, you didn't see that? No, yeah, I didn't if see you that. Wanted to divide it, you could. Um, we won't do that. But there's also a like, fitting room area. Yeah, so you can change the back there. There's more light that. here, uh, more backdrops. They have like faux backgrounds too. And then just even more light too. So. Yeah. I really be by the teacher. Get back. by the way and like i just want to show you guys so i think it's a cool space so i'll leave it linked down below but thanks for helping me you're welcome okay wait i, need to <laughs> I was like our hats are gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she helped me um shoot all of my stuff it turned out amazing did you like it i think it turned out great i think it turned out great i think i do a great job not to High five. brat but Boom. now we get to go eat exactly yeah so i'll leave you guys here um and yeah hopefully you're enjoying the vlog so far and like just, where are we gonna go eat uh ramen because it's cold Yep. Uh, all right. You guys will see all of this behind the scenes stuff and just like the project again, January. So stay tuned for that. If you guys see me on Instagram or here on YouTube styling and wearing sunglasses, you can assume 99% of the time it is going to be from Aquila LA. Not only is the sunglasses amazing, they come in so many colors, styles, the quality is just in my humble opinion, 10 out of 10. And the best part is, is I have a discount code for you guys that you guys seem to really love and enjoy. The brand tells me that people use it till this day. So I will throw that up on the screen for you guys. You guys can enjoy my discount code to, you know, save yourself some money on the new styles that they just recently came out with. The first pair that I wanna talk about is this pair right here. This is the Lola in green acetate with green lens. So like I said, I have three, but this is my personal favorite. Something about the Aquila LA frames, they're fairly priced, they're super, Super well made and they just hit like it really does add something to your outfit and I feel like for me personally even though I live in Seattle I do find joy in wearing and styling sunglasses all year round with my outfits because like I said I feel like it just kind of takes your outfits to the next level without doing too much I think sunglasses is one of those things it's so understated in terms of an accessory but it really does add so much value and just adds that little extra finesse to your outfit. The Aquila LA frames come in so many different color styles, variations, lens variations, and just overall, I really like this specific style of frame that they have. Like the acetate that they use is just so nice and heavy, all the while still being lightweight on the face, if that makes any sense. And I really like the color combos that they use. This next bad boy right here is called Theory in the black acetate with black lens. This one's a little bit different because it has a thinner, almost kind of like 
metal-esque um, like earpiece right here. The frame itself is again acetate, but the overall like mechanism is this really nice kind of metal feeling uh, sort of vibe, which I really like. It kind of offers a really nice clean, minimal look. And I feel like you can just never go wrong with a really nice sleek pair of black sunglasses. Again, for anybody who lives in like the warmer climate, I would highly recommend checking out Aquila LA. Like I said, I'd be wearing sunglasses all year round, but for those of you guys who live in really nice weather all year round, you truly can reap the benefits of wearing sunglasses all year round and this is definitely one of my favorites like I said the previous one was my favorite but this is definitely like number two for me and then the last pair that I want to share with you guys is called Big City this is the beige acetate with the brown lens 10 out of 10 quality the acetate is just truly in my opinion what Aquila LA really shines with I don't even know how they'd be making sunglasses like this but just like the detailing with the engraving of the names on the thing and just like the little mini details even down to the cork recycled case that comes with the said sunglasses and the wiper, like the cleaning cloth and all that stuff. Aquila LA, something I really like about them is they truly pay attention to all the details and it's brands like that that I love promoting and sharing with you guys on this channel. And like I said, if you're in the market for some clean sunglasses, they even have like blue light glasses um, and just like unique frames in general, I would highly recommend checking out Aquila LA. Again, be sure to use my discount code if you're interested and much love once again to Aquila LA for sponsoring today's video. You can expect to see those said three kind of sunglasses styled up in my upcoming outfits over on my Instagram, especially that first one that I showed you guys. That was definitely my favorite one. But nonetheless, all three of them, bangers. Welcome back to another day in this vlog. Um, I just finished filming a ton of stuff and then I'm just gonna kind of chill for a bit, take the dogs on a walk, and then um, later on tonight, I have one, a new video going up, which I'm excited about, and then two, I'm actually gonna go get dinner with my video editor, Richie. You guys haven't met him, but shout out to him. He's the one that's been editing my current videos. So all of the content that you guys are seeing on this platform, besides my vlogs, cause I'll always edit that on my own, um, he's been graciously editing and doing such an amazing job. So we're gonna uh, link and just grab some dinner. I think we're going to like a Vietnamese spot. Um, and I'll take you guys along with so you guys can meet him and then see the food and stuff. Um, but yeah, pretty chill day, but like kind of productive. Went to the gym, um, did some errands and all that stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. This is kind of like the first vlog in attempt to bring the vlogs back. So if you guys want more vlogs, definitely be sure to drop that comment down below. Just say like, we want vlogs or more vlogs, please. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're just gonna chill for now. I'll go ahead and show you guys my outfit because it's a casual one, but I think um, I'll link it, of course, and then <laughs> I'll link it. And then um, I just kind of want to show you guys what I wear on a more casual day when I'm not doing that much, but I'm still trying to be on my casual flex vibe and I still kind of want to look put together. So like I said, dinner tonight, new video tonight. You'll meet my editor and then I'll show you my outfit right now. Okay. For one, I don't even know if you guys can hear me because the dishwasher is going on in the back, so hopefully this works, but we'll figure it out. Um, jacket is North Face, as you can see. Hoodie underneath, I really like. I just picked it up from the Zara Basics line. Wedding ring on the finger, obviously, and then some apps rings. Hat is from Amazon. Pants are these really nice worker pants that I picked up last year from Abercrombie. I think they still make these, if not a similar ones. So I'll leave links to similar ones down below. And then of course on foot, we got the Bottega Vanetta Lug Boots in the fondant chocolate brown color. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, a little casual vibe, the tones nice and earthy, just like how I like it. We're just gonna chill for now, and then I'll see you guys at dinner with the homie Richie. Thanksgiving, you guys. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. We're getting ready right now. We're gonna head out to my sister's for lunch. 
we're obviously going to be joined with like our family, family, friends, loved ones, all that good stuff. I'm really excited. I'm super hungry. Obviously, Thanksgiving, so you already know that the feast is going to be on point. I'm going to show you guys, bring you guys along. And, and yeah, hopefully you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving by the time that you're watching this. And hopefully you're having a solid kind of like holiday um, season with your loved ones and all that stuff. Like I said, we're getting ready right now. going to head out soon. And I'll see you guys at my sister's house. And then I'll show you guys the outfit before we head out too. to end the vlog with just a few life updates i feel like every single time i make a vlog and naturally they're kind of like a month or so apart so much stuff happens and naturally i just want to share it with you guys so i have my phone right here and i'm going to reference it and i want to catch up and i really just kind of want to let you guys know where i'm at with essentially everything in life right now naturally just like life updates and just kind of life as of late it's of course been really busy as you guys know it's the holiday time so naturally there is just a lot more to do during this time whether it's like personally going out and like spending quality time with friends and family and loved ones and stuff but also just I don't know, there's like a busyness of this time of the year that it just comes with it. But I personally like it. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot more fun stuff to do. It's finally getting really cold here in Seattle. So it just makes for, you know, all the cozy vibes and you know, like the layering and all that stuff. So that's why you guys are seeing, of course, like this type of content on my channel and on my Instagram and I'm soon to be, if not already on my TikTok. I started posting on there or I plan to start posting on there fairly soon, like officially. So uh, make sure you guys are following me on here and on Instagram and on TikTok. This is the best time of the year and i hope that you guys are having a great holiday season as well for any of you guys who follow me for the home slash apartment uh content we recently redid our primary room and we invested in some pieces that we really have been wanting for a long time so we redid the room like i said and i really love or we really love how it turned out i love the tones i love the new pieces and i just like the overall aesthetic and then in terms of the holiday decor for the holiday season we just kept it super minimal with just like some decorations on our dining table and then we also did the tree a little bit differently this year so we have a faux tree which we bought last year traditional kind of christmas ornaments with like the balls and like the different types of colors and all that stuff we focused a lot on just minimal holiday figurines so you guys will see that in the images and kind of in the reference photos that i'm picturing um, and i'm throwing up and we really like how it turned out again we just kind of wanted to keep and take a more minimal approach to the holiday kind of decor this year didn't want to go too overboard and we are actually moving in March. We're gonna be moving to a house. And so we're really excited about that. And of course, with a house it means a bigger space and with a bigger space means more home content. So again, if any of you guys follow me for that said home content, you are in for a treat coming in March. So the last two things that I wanna update you guys is kind of the more important stuff. And it's gonna get kind of chatty. So if you haven't already, grab a snack, grab a drink, do what you gotta do. So. If you guys have been kind of keeping up with the videos and the content and you follow me over at Instagram, you would know that recently this past summer, I got a job for a real estate development company here in Seattle. I started around June and I was really excited. The job itself was great. I had really nice coworkers and the homes itself was really nice. And I worked there for, I would say like, a couple of months and like i said it was going great it was a great company and i really liked the product that they were selling and that i was helping you know drive sales towards around that said time i also applied for a tech sales job in again the tech world for a tech company here in seattle and as i was working that said real estate development job 
I got the tech sales job. And so that was kind of a whole thing within itself. So the tech sales job offer was just so much better, better benefits, bigger company um, in terms of just like everything that they offer as well as like the pay and just kind of like everything the company um, offers and all that stuff. It was just on a much bigger scale. So naturally I did what was best for me at the time. And I said yes to the said tech sales job. I resigned from my real estate development job and then I worked the tech sales job. And I started that said tech sales job the first week of November. And I worked there for a whole week. The company itself, again, 10 out of 10, the office was super nice. If any of you guys work in tech, I think it's one of those things, you know what I'm talking about. They have like coffee machines, like free drinks, free lunch, like on every single floor. It's super nice. You have like a sit stand desk, all the things. My coworkers at the time were super nice and we're still friends. I'm literally gonna go get dinner and happy hour with them tomorrow. Um, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, I worked there for a whole week. So this is where things kind of get a little interesting. So around the time that I accepted the tech sales job offer, shortly after I received some really great news in which I'm not gonna share just yet, you have to stay tuned for that, but it really changed everything moving forward. And so naturally, you know, me being the, I guess for lack of better words, overachiever that I am, I was like, it's okay, I can handle this new thing coming, I can handle a job and I can still handle doing YouTube full time. And so I worked there for a week and I just, like it just made me realize like, I give so much props to anyone who works at traditional nine to five. It is truly one of the most like hardest things, not even from like a labor standpoint from, but just more so like from an energy standpoint, like when you work a nine to five and you're trying to build a career for yourself, you really invest so, so much time, energy, and just like love and just everything into that said role that you're hoping to, you know, take from here all the way to up here. And you're really trying to grow if you do believe in that said company. And that's kind of where I was at with that tech sales job. I really saw myself kind of growing. But like I said, when I received that news, it kind of just made me started, it just kind of made me start to think about just like my whole life, my career trajectory, and just like everything completely differently. And, and so with that being said, I resigned a week after from that tech sales job because of that said news that I just found out. Tech sales job and my director and like my managers and stuff, they were super understanding. And essentially they always were just like team, do whatever is best for you and your life and whatever it is that you have going on. So I really respect them and I, and I appreciate them from that standpoint. And so with that being said, if you guys have been kind of, again, following me for a bit, you would know that I've kind of just, if I'm being completely honest, I just haven't really been in love with social media lately. I just feel like it's so different. And even though you guys still go super hard for me, like I see you guys in the comments, in my DMs, you guys truly support it's till this day. I've been doing this for a full-time job for seven years or a little over seven years now. Like you guys still truly support me and I, it truly doesn't go unnoticed. Um, but I've just had this feeling for a long time that I just was so unsure if social media was something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Then that is why I took that said real estate development job and then shortly after the tech sales job, because I guess a part of me was trying to not necessarily find a way out because I think at the core of my being, I'm always a creative and I always wanted to have some sort of level of a social media presence, but I didn't know if I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. And I think after I found out that said news, which I know I'm being very vague and I'll share with you guys as soon as I can, but just for now, just like take my word for it. It was a really big thing that I discovered um, and it was a really big news and it's like life altering and all that stuff. And so I kind of had to just like take a step back and view my life as a whole and really see like this platform, like on YouTube, the platform that I have on Instagram and hopefully TikTok, cause you know, I'm, I, I guess I'm gonna start doing TikTok now, even though you guys know my feelings about TikTok. I was so against it, but I digress. The platform that I have right now, the opportunities that social media presents me and just like the endless kind of ways that you can scale this said business that I currently have is more than enough for me. And I think even though I don't necessarily love social media as a job right now, I think I'm kind of at this point where, you know, I'm just going back to the drawing board and I gotta find things that make me want to fall in love with the process again and that's totally fine and i'm totally open to that so yeah that's kind of where i'm at with my career right now again nothing crazy like the youtube checks respectfully and humbly speaking they're still clearing they're great and the instagram stuff is like just fine um and just like the opportunities are amazing i have but just like everything is good it was just i was truly in this transitional period of my life where okay do i want to do social media for the rest of my life and if it's a no i have to figure out something that something else that i think i'd be good at and that's where those nine to five jobs came in 
And then when I received that said news, it was kind of like, oh shit, like I think I just need to stay and be an entrepreneur for the rest of my life because this said thing that's about to happen to me is, it's big and I really want to have the flexibility with my time and energy and just like all my resources. I really want to focus on this new said thing. Um, and you know, being a dig digital content creator and young entrepreneur will allow me to do just that. So with all that being said, in terms of the career, you can expect me to continue to post more videos, post even more on Instagram. And like I said, post on TikTok, even though so, you know, I'll have to I'll have to learn to love TikTok. It's not something that I currently like fuck with at the moment, but we'll get there. And yeah, I'm just like really grateful for you guys for you know, just sticking around and just like really fucking with me for these for these past 7 years and I just feel like I have this reignited sort of I guess inspiration and creativity and like the drive to create again, which feels really good. So, with all that being said, again, more content on the way and this face isn't going anywhere. I feel like I'm entering a new era with the new year coming. I feel like every fucking basic bitch says that, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like naturally, just the way that like life be lining up and stuff, the new year is coming and I'm just kind of in this new mindset. So I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you want to see and just cheers to this new wave that I'm about to be on because it's going to be crazy and I'm really excited to share and um, just a lot of exciting things all around career, personal life, just like in general. Um, and yeah, it's a good feeling, so I'm really excited. So much love to you guys for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.